All right guys, it's that time of year that I know I always make the same video saying how cold it is, which it is right now, it's like 27 degrees out, and how warm it's supposed to be over in Red Bluff today, but the guys got a fun little breakfast planned and then some flying, so let's jump in the plane, blast over the hill to Red Bluff, and go fly in that nice sea level thick air. Right, so we are inbound for Red Bluff, showing 113 miles, which puts an hour and 13 on the clock. I got Ryan behind me, he just took off from Stead. Toby's in front of me at Nervino, and I just heard Bill, he's over Truckee. But check out this sunrise, let me see if I can get it for you guys. There is no better place to watch the sunrise or set than from the air. Camera doesn't even do it justice. I'm airborne, headed towards you. Okay, I'm way up here in the nosebleed section, uh, 7,600. Oh my god! <laughs> What's the, what was the altimeter down there? 3-0, three 3-0. Zero, three zero. Oh my gosh, I just went higher. I've got eyes on you. Ryan, I just got 90 megabits per second. <laughs> nice. I didn't know your airplane could fly that fast. I put Starlink in my plane and it actually works in flight. Oh my god. <laughs> so unnecessary. Who needs ADSB when you've got Starlink? <laughs> exactly. And what'd you say, Ryan? Worth every penny when you have a problem and you'll be able to Google it. Yeah, I figure for checking weather um, when we're totally like backcountry or off the grid, or yeah, like Googling something, you are gonna pass me. Hey, open your phone and turn on Wi-Fi and see if it's available. Ah, Trent Starlink. <laughs> Passwords, airplane. All lowercase. Yep, and I'll just fly off you. You go straight, you deal with your phone, and I'll see if you're uh, able to connect. Wow, I'm, I'm hooked up. I wonder what I should do now. Probably just watch YouTube, I guess. I need to celebrate every time I wake up. You know the vibes, I ain't even gotta say much. I was down back then, but I stay up. Gotta live it up in the moment, could you blame us? Bluff traffic, first of the flight is on a left base, two final for 3-3. Red Bluff, wow. I can already tell how thick the air is down here. Jeez, it just feels so slow. This is something that people that don't fly probably would never understand, but sea level, the air is just that much thicker than what I'm used to that it feels wrong how slow I'm flying right now. It's like life's in slow motion. It's really easy to hit your spot because uh, you have so much time, you're just floating. Toby, good to see you. Good to see you too. <laughs> How you been? Good. That was a nice flight over, huh? Oh, it's gorgeous. <laughs> All right, good morning, guys. Hey, guys. Good to see you. All right. We just finished an awesome breakfast. I'm gonna go change out some batteries on the plane. I don't know what the plan is. I think the plan is that there is no plan. Down here, Jake's always got plenty of places to play. We've either got the gravel bars on the Sac River. We might head out to the west. His brother bought even more property that he runs cattle on. So I think he's got thousands and thousands of acres of these beautiful rolling hills. So those are my favorite. You just, you know, hillside landings are the, are the best. Okay, everything is alive. Starlink coming on. Totally unnecessary. There's no reason I need to be on my phone, let alone be on the internet during this flight. <laughs> but secretly, I'm just hoping someone opens their phone and is like, why do I see a Wi-Fi available right now? Red Bluff traffic, Kit Fox 8, Juliet, Juliet, taking 3-3. Three, three. Be following the other Super Cubs. You got me, Jake? Yeah, I'm gonna join your wing. I'm coming up here about 500 yards to the south. Yep, I got you. Five o'clock and just a little low, Brian. Uh, north wind's a little brisk up here. Yeah, we had it the whole flight over. Wow. Oh, I think it's time. I think it's time to cut loose on some coyotes. I'm dropping back on you a bit there, Jake. Copy. The one time I don't love the Starlink in here, 
didn't bother me that much earlier, but when there's a lot of other planes you're looking for, I'm like, I lost a, a portion of my visibility out of the skylight. I want to see if we can find my brother. He's out there somewhere. He said to get landed. Is he in his helicopter? He is. And he wouldn't be on fingers? Oh, you know what? Uh, no, but yeah, he, he'll, if he's airborne, he'll do it. I think they're building corral right now. So where are we going to now? I'll say we get airborne. Let's go. Let's head north-ish. Hit okay. that valley. Cottonwood Creek on down to the river. Let's hit Sacramento. Okay, well, let's go one hour shorter than... One, one hour shorter than what we did one last hour. <laughs> yeah. Well, we're off the ranch now. I don't know. You guys want to hit the river? Yeah, let's do the river. Let's uh, let's head towards the river. Let's let's look at Devil Creek store just because my buddy built that. He, let's go look at it and then uh, let's get hit, hit the river. Bill's on final behind you. Plenty of room here, guys. Plenty. I'll ask my dad to get out of the way. Just to make a note, there is a power line there. I'm making a right base right now. You landed, Toby. Hey. Is there enough room for everyone to park there? Uh... Jake? Yeah, out here at the end. Alright, who's the last airplane in the orbit in the white plane? Bryce. Okay, Bryce, I'm coming in behind you then. Okay. Are you gonna land, Bryce? I'd like to get that fuel bag from Ryan to go fill it up for him. Oh, don't worry about that. Any bumps to know about, Jake? No bumps. If I could touch down right about that corner back there, right where the light there it is. Anywhere past that, that corner post, you'd be good. And it's rocky, gravelly. Just follow the rock out. Follow the gravel. Jake says no bumps. And, no bumps. and then no bumps. we got a 180 coming in. Who no says he's rusty. Yeah, Jake, we don't know if anyone else could land here. He's good, he's good. He's just trying to be a show off. He squealed. I, I squealed. <laughs> it made Jake squeal too. <laughs> it made me squeal. There's a water gap down here. It's down, thank God. <laughs> I thought right? the same too. You're like, there's the one power the line. I'm like, line. well, I see I two like, high tension ones, and <laughs> yeah. then a bunch over <laughs> here. And the down guys. <laughs> oh no way! I thought it was on the outside. That's freaking. That's bitching. Yeah, that'll that's be fine, cool. right? Oh, totally fine. I had it. I thought I didn't know it worked through the plexiglass. Yeah. That's way. Cool. And it's like, I mean, this part might have a little bit of play, but the oh, front's dude, that, so solid. It's those not going anywhere. Those are so cool. <laughs> I had it, I for some reason thought it was on the outside. Did you see my little wire clips too? I just 3D print these. Dude. So you just. That's pretty trick. <laughs> so unnecessary, but kind of cool though. Yeah, but you can do it though, right? I like how you have to come up with ideas. It's not it's unnecessary. Awesome. <laughs> well, this place is cool. Yeah, it's really cool. Why, thank you. Totally come back and eat it. This place is cool. Yeah, I know. Like, how many places do we have that we can fly into to eat that other pilots don't? <laughs> All <of> four places. <laughs> <laughs> you guys were waiting for that. <laughs> Jake, is that you? I didn't know you were that old, Jake. Jake. <laughs> this is that Lewis and Clark. Is that Lewis and Clark? Roger. 
of that, I'll just follow you. Okay, I guess I'll increase throttle. Everybody up? Everyone's up. Yeah, we're all up. Where are you going to, Jake? I don't know. I think we'll just hit the river and kind of feel our way out. We'll hit the river and head north of it, huh? Or... Trent, I'm going to ease up next to you. All right, I'll peel back off a little bit here. Well, you never even got close. All right, well, you kept looking at me nervously. I'll come in again. I'm just kidding. Do whatever you want, just don't hit me. I won't hit you, don't worry. Brian, are you landing? I'm about to drag it, just check and make sure there's nothing sticking up. So I'm not coming real low over it slow. Yeah, it looks all good. There is a raw ditch towards the end of it, like the last 50 feet. Right hand pattern on uh, table bar, right? Yep, turn base. I got you. I extended off and backed off you, Jake, so you've got clearance for me. I'm the one right behind you. And I'm uh, behind Bill. Copy, I'm going to get so low I can't get hit. That's always my theory. Okay. I'm off to the east of Table Bar right now, probably about a mile and a half or so. Trent's going to back taxi and take off Table Bar, if that works. Is that cool with you, Kevin? I was going to take off to the north since I'm so far down here. Okay, let me, uh, I'm already up on the runway, if you don't mind, I'll just blast off really quick. Sure, that's fine, you're going south, correct? Correct. Sean's on a right orbit for Boilermaker, just off the deck. So, uh, what about, uh, just about where that rock cairn is, is where you're aiming for your touchdown point? Nah, if there's cows on that, please, I'm not gonna go mess with them. So we're not gonna do, I'm not gonna do table, table mount. Every time I come down here, it's chaos. It's like we all get together and it's awesome, but at the same time, when we're all trying to land at one spot, you really gotta have, you have your head on a swivel. And we all have to be paying attention and looking out for each other. This is a new one for me, and if one of our friends just had a little bit of a mishap on it, then it's like you got to be on your on your A game because it's not going to be quite easy street, or else he wouldn't have done that. All right, so. We had a little mishap, everyone's fine. Just a little bit of a, a ego hit for one of my buddies and out of respect for him, I'm not gonna say who it was or show you because he asked that I don't. But you know, it's kind of, it, it is part of the game when you're, when you're pushing the limits and you know, I've, I know I've had this talk more times than I'd like to, but um, luckily with these stole style aircraft, normally it's just that we tried to push it landing somewhere too short like what happened here and he ended up spinning his plane around and, and dinging the wingtip so you know all things considered it wasn't that bad but it is kind of the nature of the beast when you are flying outside of the normal envelope but uh kind of put a damper on our day and we are actually chasing light because it is like one of the shortest days of the year so we're gonna get fired up go get some fuel and then get ourselves back up over the sierras and work our way home yeah, go ahead. I'll, let me pull, when Toby pulls forward, I'll be ready to go. Roger that. Trent's going to be uh, rolling. I guess I'll go two after you. Orland traffic. Number one of the flight is on a left base to final for 3-3 three, three, full stop Orland. I'm back on fingers. How's the dirt look off to your right? Um, it's not bad, but it's hard to tell. There's a couple taller patches of uh, weeds, but everything looks pretty smooth. There might be a little uh, ditch in the center, uh, but like running left to right, like you could run down the ditch in the center if you needed to. Got it, thanks. All right, topped off on fuel. Now we're having the old pilot debate of which way we should cross the Sierras. Do we go way south, follow 80? Do we go north, follow 70? Do we just go right over no man's land, which I'm not a fan of? 
But anyway, we just heard from the guys back there. Sounds like there's already a helicopter inbound to pick up the plane and take it to a safer place that they can really assess the damage and see what the next step is. It's kind of the nice part about how connected everyone is down here, you know, with PJ's helicopters being out of Red Bluff. I think it was one of their guys, although I'm not 100% sure, but it was like one phone call, helicopters 30 minutes out, which was uh, nice, because we do have a storm coming in uh, tomorrow evening that's gonna kind of make it nasty for the better part of a week, so I'm sure they want to get it to somewhere safe. So anyway, we're gonna get back in the air, go over the Sierras and try to race Sunlight home. Orland traffic, uh, flight of four bush planes taking runway 33 three, uh, will be an eastbound departure. Orland. All right guys, just like that, back safe and sound. A bit of an eventful day, it's never fun when one of our buddies bends a little metal, but uh, I am sure he will rebuild. Uh, they already got it flown over, like I mentioned, uh, to our buddy's place and I think it's pushed into a hangar. So it's safe and sound, just the tip of the wing got dinged up, so. All things considered, could have been way worse. But anyway, before I wrap this out, I do want to take a second to give a huge shout out and thank you to my friends over at Squarespace for sponsoring yet another one of my videos. And for those who don't know, Squarespace is the ultimate way to build a website. You start with one of their award-winning templates crafted into your own beautiful, professional-looking website that's optimized for both desktop as well as mobile, and they have features for every industry. So it doesn't matter what you're trying to do with your Website, be it an online store, personal blog, professional photo gallery, you can do that with Squarespace. It's all running through their new Fluid engine and it truly is as easy as anything. Honestly, if you can figure out how to open your email, you're gonna be able to figure out how to build a website with Squarespace. So if you haven't yet, head over to squarespace.com for a free trial and when you're ready to purchase, make sure you use code Trent Palmer at checkout. That'll get you 10% off. And with that, I'm gonna go ahead and push the Kit Fox away. This is a, a good, chance to get to test the Starlink while going longer distances and it worked great. Got to go play at sea level and aside from the one little ding, it was an awesome day. So with that, I'm gonna wrap this up here. You guys know the drill. Like this video if you do. Subscribe if you haven't. Come be my wingman. See you on the next one. Peace. Hindsight is 2020, not the year. The lessons along the way. When I look back, I wanna feel like that would be worth doing again. Learned a couple lessons I don't want to race just to come in second place I want to enjoy